Hey guys, it's Truman from 4Runner Lifestyle. Today we're gonna to be installing the interior Molly panels for the rear windows. These are from Rego Fabrications. These are super awesome. These are what's gonna get you ready for those overlanding trips and you're able to hook up all your equipment on the inside. These are super awesome. We're gonna show you how to install these today and we're just gonna break it down for you to make it a little easier. Okay, so this is what it looks like after being installed. We love how these turned out on the inside. These do have molly holes for them, so you can strap Velcro and all these straps on them. They also have quarter inch holes, and so you can mount bolt-on items as well to be very rigid. So it's really cool that Rego went ahead and did that for us today. Okay, so we already went ahead and installed the driver side today, so just so we could show you. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the passenger side and break it down for you and show you how to install these. This is the one that we haven't installed yet. These are super solid and we love them. And so we're gonna go ahead and show you how to install these. Okay, so the tools that we're gonna be using for this install are fairly simple. It's just a 3 16th Allen, a 10 millimeter socket. And then for the tight spaces, we're gonna use this 10 millimeter hand wrench right here so we can wedge into those tight spots. Okay, so after pulling everything out of the kit, you're gonna see what it comes with. It's gonna be the large panel that obviously you mount everything to. And it's gonna be these two smaller metal panels. These are also very solid metal and everything comes powder coated in the kit. So nothing's gonna rust on you on the insert or anything like that. They're super solid. These are the same things just inside the package that we're gonna install on the other side. Everything comes with the mounting hardware as well as the pins to mount it as well. We're gonna break it down and show you everything, how to install it, but this is everything that it comes with. Okay, so there's gonna be three mounting points that this thing mounts to, and I'll show you where they are. The first thing is right here. This is where the cargo net used to mount to. I'm just gonna pull that out and install the pin there. Second one right here, this is just a blank area as well that it mounts to. And the third one is up high on this hanger. Pull that off as well and mount the pin. So we'll show you how to do each of those. First step, we're removing the closest one to the tail hatch. It's just twisting the hook clockwise. It'll snap out and you can just pull it straight out. Okay, so on the inside, you're gonna see a screw. You're just gonna pull that screw out because we're gonna be replacing it. On this one today, it looks like it's a Phillips head. So we just went ahead and grabbed our Phillips head. We're just gonna remove that screw right there. Okay, so the other mounting point closest to the seats is this one right here. It just has this cap on it. You can remove it with a pry tool or a screwdriver. We're just gonna go ahead and pop this one off. Okay, with that popped off, it has a Phillips head bolt right here, but it also has a 10 mil on the outside. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove it with the 10 mil we mentioned earlier. Okay, and the last one, the top one, is very similar. You just pull off this cover right here, exposing another 10 mil. So just go ahead and use the same 10 mil from before and undo this one. Okay, so the next step is gonna be installing these two pins. These are going to the two lower mounting points. As you can tell, they look slightly different. This one with the taper on it is gonna go closest to the hatch. And this one that's just straight, it's gonna go closest to the seats. And then these come from the package just with the bolts already in them so they don't get confused. So you can just pull those out and then reinstall them once you're ready to put the molly panel on. Okay, so taking the taper one over by the hatch, these just screw right in, making it super easy for you. Okay, and then just next, this straight one right here, I'm gonna go ahead and screw that one into the back. Okay, so now we're ready to put these two additional plates together. You're gonna to be glad you watched this video because it is very specific and it's hard to explain just on paper. And so we're gonna go and show you today. Um, on the passenger side, you're gonna to wanna to take this plate right here and with this tab sticking up and to the left, you're gonna take this Rego one right here and mount it just like that. This is very specific to the passenger side. Then we're gonna mount it with these two holes right here. And then for the driver side, it's gonna be the opposite. This tab is gonna be pointing up and to the right, and this will be on the left side. Okay, so after you have these together like this, you're gonna go ahead and install these. I'm just gonna go and slip in these two Allen bolts right here, and then find their corresponding nuts on the back side.
course, when you open up the package, these are gonna be the bolts that they come with. And so you're just gonna go ahead and pull out two of these, two nuts, and then two washers as well, and throw this all together. We're gonna go ahead and grab our 3 16 Allen right here and our 10 millimeter wrench. Just gonna go ahead and throw the wrench on the back side, hold that in place and then we're able to tighten down the Allen key on the front. Okay, now we're ready to mount this to the large Molly panel itself. Gonna go ahead and grab two more nuts, bolts, and washers, and then we're gonna mount it to the big guy. So we're gonna show you exactly where. Okay, so this is how I have the panel laid out right now. We have this flare right here sticking up, so we know this is the inside. Gonna go ahead and grab this plate right here, and it's gonna to mount to these two holes right here, the, the sliding ones. And so we're gonna mount that right there. When we bolt this on, we're gonna make sure not to tighten them all the way down because they make it so they can shift forward and backwards to get a perfect fit every time. Okay, grab, go ahead and grab our two bolts, throw the washer on each of them. Then we're gonna grab our plates and line them up and then just throw these bolts in. Again, we're just gonna tighten the nut on the back side just enough to where it holds on, and then we're gonna mount everything and snug it up once we know everything fits. Okay, with this plate mounted onto the big panel, we're ready to go ahead and throw it into the mounting points. And so we're gonna undo these bolts that came on the pins and then put them on after lining up the big panel. Okay, so all the holes that mount to the pins are the elongated sideways ones. They're not these circular ones. They're the ones that you're able to slide left and right so everything fits good for you. And so after lining everything up, we're gonna go ahead and throw this bolt in between the sliding hole and then just screw it in. Okay, so we didn't tighten those down all the way with the Allen key, just so once everything's in, we can adjust everything and then tighten it down after. So this is the bolt that we removed when removing this cover clip right here. We're gonna go ahead and reuse it and just install it with this top mounting part right here. Okay, so now we're ready to tighten everything down. This does shift forward and backwards just depending on your liking. We're just gonna align it just like this and then we're gonna go ahead and grab this tool and this tool right here to tighten down these two points, the two points on the bracket that we haven't tightened down yet, and then this top one right here. Okay, so with that being buttoned up, everything is super sturdy. We get a lot of questions asking, hey, did these rattle? I know it's metal on metal. Is everything gonna be secure? And the answer is yes, everything is super secure. Everything is bolted down very tightly. Nothing's gonna shake, rattle for you or anything. Uh, Rego does include this just in case you are lonely. This is a bottle opener. You can bolt this on any of these quarter inch holes right here. Just a nice little touch. Okay, and just like that, the install is done. That was surprisingly easy. Only had three mounting points. Everything was very solid and very few hardware that we needed to install. I loved doing this install and I love the product even more. You can mount a lot of different things to this, such as molly bags or an additional shelf that is also sold on our website, forerunnerlifestyle.com. We sell this product on that website as well as the shelf as well. So if you wanna go take a look, just go ahead and hit the link in the description below as well as like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're posting videos like this all the time, all of your Forerunner overlanding gear. It's the stuff we love. So thank you so much for watching this video. 